just doing the passing movements now. He lives at uh, Grieve Avenue, Eccleston. He attends St Julie's School there up at Eccleston. His hobbies are football, rugby, swimming, and of course, watching the Saints. And his favourite player is Alan Hunt. Alan Hunt, the Saints, leading try scorer. And I'm sure he'll put a good performance in tonight for uh, Young Ian, the mascot. Anyway, the Saints team tonight, I think it's just uh, the same as it was uh, last uh, Sunday against Salford. Phil Beavers at fullback. Hunt, Connolly, McCracken, and Sullivan in the three quarters. Rapati and Griffiths, the half back purring. Neil Dwyer and Ward, the front row. Nickelman and Cooper, the back three, with Farber and Joint. The witness side, a couple of changes. Davis at fullback. Devereaux, Spruce, Wright, and Hadley in the three quarters. Myler and Goulding are the half back purring with Sorensen, McCurry and Familo in the front row. Moriarty, Erz and Hume, the back three, with Holiday and Howard are the substitutes. A powerful witness side, there's no danger about that. They had a tough tie last uh, Friday, the televised match against uh, Wigan. The scoreline, uh, I'm afraid, flatters Wigan, in my opinion, uh, 14 uh, points to two. Just uh, ready for the uh, pleasantries. Both captains there, David Hume for witness, Shane Cooper for the Saints. Out there with the, the match day mascot, Ian McHugh. As I said, only five years of age, young Ian. A big day for this young fella. A lot of these youngsters, they come here and they're uh, in the Junior Saints. They get chosen to be the match day mascot and it must be a, a big boost for them, there's no danger. And joining me this evening, uh, Summarising on commentary, we've got uh, say one of Saints' new recruits, Gus O'Donnell, sidelined with the broken thumb, hoping to be back shortly. Uh, tough game tonight, uh, Gus, but it should be exciting. It should be very exciting. It's going to be a hard and physical game. Hopefully, Saints will come up on top and hopefully win. Well, just ready for kickoff now. Saints uh, playing down to the uh, clubhouse end. The match day mascot, Ian McHugh, just uh, taking his uh, position with his uh, parents for this evening's uh, match, for the rest of this evening's match, I should say. So, Saints to kick off, Tia Rapati ready for action. And away we go. Well taken on the far side, well, Saints straight in. And that's going to be the name of the game tonight. It's going to be a hard battle. Tackling is going to be of the paramount importance. Sonny Nickel in again. Had an excellent game last Sunday, did Sonny Nickel. Now it's Richie's. Tremendous crowd here tonight. I would imagine around about 10,000, 11,000. And as you can hear under the, uh, under the podium here, the popular side uh, crowd are erupting. McCurry brings the ball away. On to Bobby Goulding. The referee, John Connolly from Wigan. It's the sixth and final title. McCurry now, he has to run it. He kicked it through, he can't gather it. Saints have possession. Kevin Ward quickly down. Bernard Dwight attacked it half. Saints first touch. Phil Beaver's in. Well, the referee quickly in there, Gus. Uh, Obviously a hard tackle, but I, I wouldn't say it looked exceptionally high, but they are clamping down, aren't they? Well, they are. on Sunday, the referee was very strict about it. I think all the referees are going to pick up on it. And I hope, I hope there's no hard tackles there tonight. So a good touch-finding kick, 10 yards from the witness at 20-metre line. George Mann right into the action, Moriarty in the thick of things there, and Sorensen. Now it's Kevin Ward, well, Ward takes some pulling down, but there looks a couple of high ones, or in, intended high ones going in there. But it's Dwyer, Saints camped in the witness at 20 metre area, Griffiths onto a patty, just can't break through. Griffiths attacked it half back again. This team will be fired up after a good win last Sunday. Now it's Sonny Nickel, but solid tackling again. 
Sixth and final tackle. Let's see what Saints have up the sleeve. Bernard Dwyer. Back to John Neal. Excellent grubber there from John Neal. Uncharacteristic Gus, but uh, he found touch on the sixth tackle, and at least we've a 50-50 chance, I suppose, of getting the ball. Yeah, he got it unexpected then. Uh, Spurs got to uh, Phil Beavers for the big bomb. But Jonathan Neal did well, and he kicked it in touch to keep the pressure on. Witness speed, witness have scrum possession. The referee waves play on. Bobby Goulding couldn't get it, but uh, Witness came up with the ball possession. It was loose forward. David Hume that had it. The tackle count wave clean. Obviously touched the Saints' uh, pair of hands there. Kicked through, indicated by the referee. Bobby Goulding getting things underway. On to Sorensen. Good battle in the front row there with Sorensen and Ward, two uh, veteran campaigners, do we say, Gus? But it should be a good, uh, a good battle. Two tough ones as well. Yeah, you say veterans, but they play like two young lads. Um, they, they run all day and they just keep running. Yes, cries for a forward pass there onto Richie Ears, but the referee right on the job. It's the last tackle of this sequence. It's with Golding, he gets it away. Alan Hunt has to turn. Sits up nice for him. Hunt tries to get round uh, Adrian Hadley. Can't get away this time. Connolly inside to Beavers. Moriarty in there. Heavy tackling, hard tackling. Bernard Dwyer onto Gary Connolly now. Moving it over to the left. Gets out of the tackle, does Connolly? Still going. Gets the ball away to Bernard Dwyer. Out to Tierra Patti. Beavers brings it blindside, turns it back inside to Tia. He gets it to Kevin Ward, and the Saints are charging. Oh, excellent work there from Ward. Just couldn't release it. Good clamp tackling from Familo. Jonathan Neal blindside up to Cooper. Inside to George Mann. Saints will move it left. Well, good tackling there. Saints eager to throw it about Gus, but good tackling from Witness. Yeah, very good tackling. Um... As you see, a good kick there from Griff. Bit of a missed kick, but it doesn't touch. Well, they all count, Gus, don't they? Excellent. I think that was precision, that. Just uh, inches from the touchline and bouncing in. Well, he's been doing it in turn, and it probably was. So it's uh, Golding to feed. McCurry can't get his head in. It's packed now. Golding feeds it well. It had come back Saints side, but it was kicked uh, back to Witness. Cooper wraps up Goulding. Fiery little scrum half this Goulding goes uh, uh, together with Tony Myler. Uh, he's uh, a bit of a veteran at standoff, but uh, Rapati and Griffiths are playing well and uh, certainly a good competition uh, with yourself, uh, you know, back in contention next week to get back on the team sheet. Yeah, it's going to be very hard. So, um, just wants the lads to keep going in and... Everybody's playing well. That's the name of the game, to keep each other out. Right. Witness now in possession. Hume, Goulding along the line. Myler out to uh, young Stuart Spruce. Inside for Devereaux. Good fella, this Devereaux. Strong Welsh wingman. Well, they play the ball. Saints have possession. Good play there from the Saints. Saints bring it away. Now it's Tony Sullivan. Excellent play there from George Mann. Witness asleep there, Gus, and Saints getting possession. Yeah, it's just like George sniffs everything up what comes to his place. Sonny Nickel bringing the ball up. That taking the stuffing out of these Witness tacklers. Bernard Dwyer inside to John Neal again. Another player in the front row for the Saints. Takes a lot of the uh, hard work in the engine room, and there's another one, Kevin Ward. Well, that was on the sixth tackle. I just didn't see the referee indicate there. Obviously, just uh, enthralled in the play, but to witness have possession from the turnover. SNA for Milo bringing the ball away. McCurry attacking half back. Well, witness uh, in a bit of disarray. Saints come in and uh, capitalise with the tackle. Cooper and George Mann. Short ball there to Richie Ears from Bobby Goulding. It's hers. 
He plays it, Darren Wright on to David Hume. Through the middle, Hume. Support play from Golding. Well, George Mann knocks it forward. Sullivan plays on, but it's going to be a knock on. Well, witness, I think they had a bit of an overlap on the far side there, Gus. It was a good job George Mann got his fingers to it, and it just uh, holds it up. But a good, uh, a good run there from David Hume. Yeah, if Dave Hume would have kept tight of it, really, Bobby Golden was shouting for it. If it were quick hands, one never knows who might have scored in the corner. Well, it's a scrum down just uh, outside the Saints 20 metre area. Gold into feed, three scrums to nil, all going with the head, uh, with the feed, and uh, John Davies coming up from the full back position. Widnes trying to take it blindside. Sorensen coming in at close range, the tattling will have to hold firm. Witness again, then spread it, Golding coming across, inside ball to Myler, has he scored? He's lost possession, well, very unlucky there, Witness uh, putting it together, Gus, unlucky possibly, as you say, not to come close again. Yeah, and Shane Cooper come flying up to uh, shine at the dummy man, but Bobby Golding cleverly kept hold of the ball and picked up the inside runner, good tackling from Kevin Ward. Yes, excellent tackling from the Saints, Witness... Uh, Penalised for an infringement at the play of the ball. And a chance now for John Griffiths to relieve the situation. Nine minutes uh, gone of the game, no score at present. Phil Beavers taps it, goes to play, and I think Saints have been penalised for offside, Gus. Obviously a plan move, the ball on the ground. Uh, referee Connolly picking up an offside. Yeah, um... I think a very harsh decision. The witness players moved in very fast before he even tapped it. That's why he stopped. Um, bit harsh. Anyway, witness have possession. They're on the attack. John, uh, Jonathan Davies coming through. Saints uh, tackling the left to hold firm. McCurry scampering away from acting half back. Bernard Dwyer round the legs. John Neal over the top. Yes, the referee says, get up, Sonny. Uh, you're not going to kid me this time. As Golding moves it across. And the Saints tackling is holding firm, and it's got to do. Witness putting uh, the gas pedal down. Darren Wright, short of the line. Sixth and final tackle now. Golding across, but it's, uh, well, I was going to say it's too deep. I thought it would have gone uh, dead there, Gus, but uh, Alan Hunt making sure and grounded it. Yeah, good on Alan Hunt. Uh, just made sure uh, as... The first points, what goes to the first team, big advantage, Alan Hunt making sure they don't score. But it's Phil Beavers to drop out from between the sticks, it put Witness back on the attack. Good kick from Beavers, taken by Tony Myler, inside the Witness half. He moves it over to the right, Devereaux, I think it is, looking strong. He takes some pulling down. In the Great Britain touring squad, uh, just uh, this year, but didn't get a lot of chances, but he's well worth uh, a chance. A good uh, player, hard runner. Witness now in the Saints, uh, 20 uh, metre area for Milo. On to Golden, he's lost the ball. Must be a knock on. Well, the referee's right there. Well, I think Golden lost the ball there. The referee not made a decision, Gus. He's looked at his touch judge and he said it was reaped out. What do you think of that? Well, he went in for a tackle and it was knocked out. It wasn't ripped out, it was in a tackle. And the referee never seen it and the lineman's... I think it's from witness myself. Yeah, you could be right there, Gus. And we've got a pie eater in the middle, so... Well, got a pie eater with me, haven't I, Gus? But that's besides the point. I mean, you're a saint now, but a chance for points on the board. And as we said, Gus, about yourself, you're, uh, you're having your plaster off next week. Back in contention, obviously, uh, in the squad for next Sunday? Well, hopefully, Mike wants to keep a big squad. The bigger the squad, the more championships, medals we can get, and more trophies. That's the name of the game. Bigger the squad, the more better the fighting spirit is. Well, it is, you're right. Uh, it's, uh, it's a change here, really. Uh, we have a few injuries. We have been struggling, uh, perhaps the last uh, couple of years. But a good team spirit, a lot of young uh, players here. 
and yet a lot to come from the Saints. So it's Jonathan Davis, first kick of the match, gets the penalty, two points to nil on the board, but uh, nothing really at this stage, Gus. Uh, still anybody's game, obviously. Yeah, it's still anybody's game. Um, Witness took the advantage for the first five minutes there. I think Saints will come back and do good. Richie Ears juggles with it, and from the deep kick, but Jonathan Griffiths, Shane Cooper quickly in. McCurry trying to scamper away. Only a young lad, this McCurry, he's only about uh, 17 or 18, I think, son of uh, Alan McCurry, the uh, Cumbrian hooker, now on the coaching staff at uh, Widnes. McCurry again onto Moriarty, he's just been to the sideline for treatment, just had his uh, ribs. Uh, strapped up but it's McCurry again working through good lad this McCurry strong lad Gus obviously you'll have come up uh, against him uh, in previous matches yeah I played with him again for Great Britain the under 21s his upper body's very strong but a loose pass there by Widnes Davis had to tidy it up Saints put pressure on him Davis had to kick it upfield and Phil Vivas now has, uh, has the ball Tony Sullivan, scampering away, Bernard Dwyer, George Mann, powering his way into the uh, witness defence. 14 minutes gone, two points to nil in witness favour. And now it's Hunt and Connolly, oh, just losing his foot in there. Give a lovely dummy, did Alan Hunt. For Milo, wraps him up. Connolly come on the outside. Tate's moving across field, excellent play by Cooper. Sixth and final tackle, I think, the referee's indication. George Mann with the bomb. Awkward bounce, Davis tidies it up. I think it could uh, I think it could be a little slippy underfoot, Gus. We have had a bit of rain today, but I'm glad it's uh, ceased for tonight's match. Yeah, it's gonna, I think the main thing Saints are going to have to do is find the proper kicker. There's two occasions we've had Jonathan Neal and then Georgie Mann's just kicked it. I think we're going to have to get Shane Cooper or Griffiths to start kicking the ball properly. But it's witness in possession. Goulding trying to get things underway. Well, he's broke through there. Jonathan Griffiths is chasing him. McCre well, he's still going, he's uh, Goulding. Leading the seat to Merry Dance. Excellent break from Goulding this time. Over and out to Hume. Out to Davis. Chips it through, it's going to be too hard, that. Oh, well, Fevers, Fevers knocks it dead. Davis follows it up. Excellent attacking play there, and this fella Goulding, he got through a, a lot of uh, tackles there, Gus, uncharacteristically. Yes, yeah, the Saints players seem to be tackling the, the shoulders. They're going to have to drop the tackles down to, to really hurt them and get stuck in. But no damage done, even though the witness attack, no damage done, no points on the board, but it puts witness back with the ball again for another six tattles and a platform to build on. Moriarty there, he brought down. John Neal. McCurry now gets it away. Hume looking to work the loop movement. He's well clamped there. George Mann bangs him to the floor. McCurry at dummy half. Witness moving it blindside. Richie Ears. He's having a good season, he's Ears. He's shone in the early matches. I say it's the Lancashire Cup second round. Say it's the holders. Beat Rochdale in the final last year. Well, M McCurry there quickly tackled George Mann again. Hume now moving it over to the right. He chips it through. Say it's forced to kick it dead again. Well, witness putting a lot of pressure on Gus. We've whisked on the pressure again. Do you think we can uh, withhold all this pressure? Certainly. Uh, the Saints defence is very good. It just needs Saints to have the ball for five minutes, get control of the ball, and I think Saints will come overboard, they'll get on top. Yes, as we know, well, both teams can play good open rugby. Witness they've had the problems, uh, contractual uh, with uh, like a fire and Tate and that, that have uh, moved on. Golding come here and Adrian Hadley, a new players here. Moriarty had a lot of injury problems, but he uh, doesn't look so bad. Pamilo coming on there to the loose ball. They've a lot of talent in the ranks. 
and they, uh, they have a lot of respect for this Phil Larder, the new coach. Frank Myler, he's moved uh, upstairs. Phil Larder has uh, gone into the coaching, but loose play there by witness. Sonny Nickel has the ball. I think the referees, as if, yes, he has played advantage. Moriarty couldn't take it, he juggled with it. Witness move up quickly. George Mann pushes the first uh, line of defence off. David Hume it was. But now it's Bernard Dwyer scampering away. And once the Saints gain the composure, get in the swing of it. As Gus said, let's hope they we can see them open out. John Neal. Well, late tackle there by Sorensen. And John Neal took exception to it. Sorensen goes in. Well, a little naughty that from Sorensen, Gus. Uh, the penalty had been awarded, but John Neal took exception to it, and rightly so, because he went in the back there. Oh, definitely. Uh, heat of the moment, Jonathan Neal. He'll not stand back for anything. Well, obviously, John Neal's going to be spoken to in front of the captain, Shane Cooper. Sorensen's going to be spoken to in front of the captain, David Hume. Well, Hume patting the referee on the back. Saints have been awarded the penalty. And the penalty is still Saints' way. John Griffiths finds touch just short of the halfway line. Now the Saints, let's see what they can do. The first real proper set of six tackles. That's just uh, the opening few minutes. The pleasantries exchanged, Gus, the older softening up period. And uh, now let battle commence. And uh, Kevin Ward there leading the charge. Out to Cooper. Sonny Nickel straightening up. And there's no danger. The Saints should do well. Plenty of vocal support this evening, Gus. Oh, the support's tremendous. The atmosphere underneath here uh, is electric. The stop the players can feel it out there and get on top. The Kraken now. Short of the 20-metre line. Saints are bringing it left. Kevin Ward. Powering his way up. He's still going, this fellow. Sorensen and Ward there in the tackle with Richard Ers. Dwyer out to Griffiths. Rapati looking for the gap. Last tackle of this sequence. Phil Vivas is up in the line. It's out with Griffiths now. There's the bomb. Just as Gus said before. Witness half possession. Well, witness uh, being uh, having a penalty awarded for an alleged high tackle, but uh, excellent pressure play from the Saints that time, Gus. Well, that's all it needs is possession. Once they get the roll on, there's not many clubs that will stop them. But a witness player injured, just receiving treatment. Witness have been awarded the penalty. Davis with the penalty finds touch on the 20 metre mark. Saints will hope to uh, contain witness in the half of the field now because Saints have soaked a hell of a lot of pressure up. And what a tackle there from George Mann on for Milo. Two Kiwis together. Now Richie Ers running strong. Tony Myler attacked in half. Gives the dummy, tries to camp, scamper through, but Kevin Ward wraps him up. Well, he cabbages two yards, does Myler, and the ball back to Davis. Deep kick. Tony Sullivan shouldn't have any problem. Witness will have to give him ten yards. Well, that wasn't ten yards, that was about eight. He waved it there, and the, the, uh, the markings are clear, but it sits in possession. Bernard Dwyer moves it left. Wrapped up on the far side, Stuart Spruce and uh, Moriarty. Jared McCracken from acting half-back, no way through for him. Not many gaps in this witness defence at present. Griffiths on to John Neal. Both sides uh, with an excellent uh, defensive display at present, Gus. No, no wonder it's only that penalty goal that's separating the teams. Oh, yeah, it's very good defence player. I think all the English clubs have come up on tops now. Everybody thought the Aussies were the stronger. But I think British rugby has come up on top as well now. Deep kick from the Saints. Davis has to feed. Ten yards from his own line. Saints cover defence come over. 
Bernard Dwyer gra grapples with him, runs into the ground after uh, John Griffiths had closed the angles down. Well, Myler now getting stuck in, releases it to Milo. I think Saints are just giving him a little bit uh, too much leeway at uh, present, Gus, and uh, the tackling will have to, even though it is good, it'll have to tighten up that little bit more. Oh, yeah, he'll have to tighten up. Phil Vivas did a good kick there, got him into the corner, and all the witness players looked like they were tired. There was only two players what got back. But they managed to come away with it, and now it's McCurry attacking half-back on to Goulding. Good kick up from Goulding. Phil Vivas gathers it safely. Goulding comes up to meet him. Vivas takes the tattle. Excellent uh, half-back play there from Goulding. Well, now it's Tony Sullivan into space. He's got support with Vivas, but he's only Davis to beat, and he's taking Davis on the outside. Oh, excellent play there from Sullivan, but equally good play from Davis. No problem there, Gus, about Davis's fitness. A superb run from Sullivan, and uh, he tried to give the man some room and take him on the outside, but good tackling. Oh, very good tackling, but give Anthony Sullivan an inch these days. He's super fit, and his confidence is sky high. That's all it needs. It's witness that have a possession from the scrum, but say it's penalised for offside. Well, obviously, a little bit of discontent from under the podium here about the uh, qualities of the referee. And uh, contrary to all rumours, after uh, Russell Smith we had uh, on uh, Sunday against Salford, he was in the bar uh, after the match with his father. So that uh, rules out one of the uh, things that usually is said about the referee. But it's witness in possession for Milo now, bringing it up and brought down about eight yards short of the halfway line. Goulding on to Richiers, running strong and hard, but George Mann and Cooper wrap him up. McCurry attacked in half-back. 25 minutes we've had of this pulsating tie, and it has been exciting. The 25 minutes have gone quick as anything. Call for uh, obstruction there, as Sonny Nickel wraps the man up quickly at the play of the ball. Davis upfield to Tony Sullivan. Looking for another good run, and he's away again, he's Sullivan! Oh, sharp as attack! Support on the left, but he didn't know McCracken was there. He was looking on the inside there, Gus. I don't think he saw Jared McCracken. Saints have got a penalty out of it, but what an excellent run again! Like I was saying, it only needs one little missed tackle and he will run all the pitch. He is on tremendous form. I think he's been simbing, Gus, hasn't he? Well, right, the four, he tried to get up and play it fast. And he held him down. Well, Saints now, a good chance of scoring. Kevin Ward, powering forward, David Hume, he's been sent to the Simbin for 10 minutes for a professional foul. Now with Cooper, what excellent play from Tony Sullivan. Yes, George Mann is going close, he's held down just short. Saints looking to open the scoring here, well the ball's been knocked forward. The referee picked it out, he's given an indi he's indicated that the uh, knock-on by George Mann, but a lot of uh, hard tackling there. Say it's very unlucky again. As you say, uh, Gus is looking very sharp, Tony Sullivan. It, it, I thought he'd had a bit of a, like if you could say, it looks as though he'd had a loss of form, but we're scoring two last Sunday, and he's been in the thick of it today, he's certainly looking very sharp. Well, the week before he had a bit of a bug. Uh, we went seeing the doctor, the doctor cleared him, he said he was fine, and since then his training has been 100%, even more. Well, he comes from good stock, Gus. His dad, Clive, the late Clive Sullivan, an excellent wingman. Played for both Hull and Hull KR, the Great Britain International. But it's witness, breaking well, an excellent run there. Harvey Howard's come on uh, for Kurt Sorensen, and he's right in the action. Moriarty now. George Manning with the shoulder slows him down. 
and Bernard Dwyer and Shane Cooper there to assist. 27 minutes of the game gone, two points to nil in witness favour. Good play there as Erz comes through onto the short ball from Goulding, but he's wrapped up his uh, Richie Erz. Shane Cooper and Gary Connolly. But now the ball back, McCurry to Goulding. Goulding gets his kick away, but Phil Viva as well. Like shelling peas, that's a Viva's right down his throat. Brings the ball up. And Jared McCracken. Tira Patty bringing it cross field. Yes, Jared McCracken, he was on the outside there of Tony Sullivan. I don't think uh, Tony Sullivan knew he was there. Anyway, Rapati there just taking a knock. Solid tackling as he come cross field. Let's hope it's nothing too serious uh, because he's been uh, playing excellently. George Mann now on the far side. Gets it away to McCracken. Out to Sullivan. He has to come in field again. Good transference of the ball. It's it still on the charge. Griffiths chips it through. Looking for a favourable bounce, but Goulding has it. Sits up nice for him. Jeanette Smith on to treat uh, Tira Patty, but he doesn't look too well, Gus, does he? He doesn't. Let's hope he's not very seriously ill. Let's hope he can get back on. Yes, with uh, there'll have to be a reshuffle in the Saints uh, team. If he is, with two forwards on the bench. But he's up and about now, Is Tia, and he's in the action there. Darren Wright, well, the referee's down as well. Much to the delight of the crowd. Harvey Howard, this ex-Waterloo Rugby Union wingman, now uh, playing in the pack at Witness. Tony Myler, dummy, and has to kick. He gets the ball away to Milo. Runs into a brick wall, Jonathan Neal. It's the last tackle of this sequence for Witness. And it's quite a while since they've been up at our end. Golding going for a drop goal. Obviously, Golding trying to get a, an extra point. You'd have had a goal for the Gus, wouldn't you? And you'd have got it between the sticks, lad. Yeah, hopefully I would, anyway. Good thinking from Bobby. Two points. An extra point, make it three. And especially with being a man down. Oh, definitely, yeah. But it's Saints in possession. Witness penalised for offside. Referee keeping a tight rein on things. Witness, I think it's uh, five scrums to nil. We haven't won a ball from the scrum, Gus, have we? We haven't had our feed, have we? No, I don't think we have. I've not been keeping count really. It's been that good of a game. Yes, well, it has. It's uh, very exciting, pulsating, and uh, keeps you on your toes. But Saints again, another six tackles now, just outside the uh, Witness 20 metre mark. Hoping to get on the scoreboard. Trailing by two points to nil. Kevin Ward powering his way up there. Uh, David Hume in the sim bin, he's been in five minutes. He was sent in for a professional foul, or what they call a professional foul. Tira Patty out to George Mann, pushes the tacklers off. Well, it's knocked forward by Witness. That must be all on. Yes, the tackle count to wave clean, and Sullivan again. He's looking rampant this evening. Bernard Dwyer now. Trying to scamper through, gets it away to Vivas. Oh, lovely pass to Rapati. Excellent movement there. Well, Darren Wright doing a bit of mauling on Rapati, but it's Cooper on to Kevin Ward, looking for support. But excellent clamp tackling again. It must only be a matter of time before the Saints score. Griffith inside to Viv as well. It certainly looked to him forward, Gus, even from this angle. The referee obviously spotted it this time, but Saints looking sharp now. Oh, yeah, looking very sharp. I think if we can keep him down in the surf. A good six tackles and get the ball over here. I think some time we should score. Won't be long. Witness to feed. Goulding to feed again, as we said. All the uh, scrums going with the witness feed. Saints are pushing hard, but Goulding has it. He brings it blindside. John Griffith wraps him up. Now with Adrian Hadley. But Sonny Nickel bounces him down. SNA for Milo, strong lad, not the biggest of forwards, but he can half motor, there's no danger about that. Richie Ears, another one, having an excellent season. Harvey Howard, but the Saints tackling, holding firm. And who's leading the charge there? Bernard Dwyer. Sixth and final tackle now, it's back to Davis. Bernard Dwyer goes to close him down, puts pressure on him. 
Vivas and Sullivan over there. Sullivan takes it. Well, witness penalised, not 10 yards. Little bit of respite there, obviously uh, trying to put uh, added pressure on witness to come and make the tackle, Gus, and they was penalised that time. Yeah, there was offside the first time when they, they got away with it. I think they've tried to look too much and the referee caught them out that time. So Saints again, back into it. Bernard Dwyer out to Kevin Ward. Striding forward, gets the ball away to Dwyer. Well, it's knocked down there. It's, it must be all on again. Well, if it's a scrum down, Gus, I reckon it must be a Saints feed because uh, Witness knocked the ball forward. Yes, he's given the uh, Saints feed. Uh, that's, well, he's given knock on both sides, but it's, uh, obviously the Witness won first. So the first scrum with a feed, and let's hope we can build on it just outside the 20-metre mark. Yeah. Um, I think we're doing it. Yes. It's, it's John Griffiths. He's scampering away. Hey, oh, unlucky there. Excellent play there by the Saints. Cooper onto uh, Griffiths. Griffiths got the call from Rapati, but he just couldn't take it. And excellent pressure by the Saints. They have possession. Witness knocked on right under the sticks now. Sonny Nickel down on it, quick as a flash. Cooper out to George Mann. Yes, Connolly. Connolly's in behind the sticks are nearly oh superb try <laughs> excellent try Gus from Gary Connolly his fourth of the season well worked Saints putting the pressure on witness they knocked on under the sticks and Saints capitalised on it. Yeah, it all started from a good tackle from Sonny Nickel. I'm sure he's trying to stamp his authority in the witness second row. He wants to play for Great Britain. Um, good tackle from him and a good pass from Georgie Mann to Gary Conley to score. Well, we deserved to try just seconds earlier, didn't we, Gus, with that break from the scrum where uh, Griffiths fed inside to Rapati. He just couldn't take it. Witness had the ball, but as uh, we said, we put the, that amount, uh, tremendous amount of pressure on him. I forced them into an error, and I'm sure Phil Larder won't be happy with that, but Mike McLennan will, won't he? Well, he'll be very happy. I think the main thing he'll say at half-time to the lads is make sure the tackling's nice and low and concentrate at 100%. Well, Dwyer converts it. Six points to two now. David Hume looking to come back on. That's ten minutes. And Saints have done well against a 12-man witness. And that's what you've got to try and do. Capitalise on the opposition's errors. There was a man down. And uh, that's the time to score with a man down. Six points to two now. And let's hope we can build up on it again, eh, Gus? Yeah, definitely. I think without the... He might, I think Saints was on the way for scoring. Five minutes before the interval. Gary Connolly now, the try scorer. Moriarty brings him down. Rapati attacked it half. On to George Mann. Looking strong is George Mann. Looking for support. Finally brought to the ground on the 20-yard line. The 20 metre mark. Whatever it is. Sonny Nickel now. Bernard Dwyer on to John Neal. Moving it over to the blind side. Dwyer again, taking it blind. Shane Cooper with the grubber. Down the short side, putting pressure on Devereux and Davis. Cooper comes up, plays everybody on side. Well, Davis there, cabbages two yards again. Devereux attacking half-back, and he's brought down. Good play there from uh, Saints captain uh, Gus. Down the blind side, try to put a bit of pressure on again. Yeah, very clever. Um, Shane knew that there was off on the blind side. And the way the, the kicking game's going, the witness players look sluggish coming back. Well, the referees uh, picked up a high tackle there, but, I, uh, well, I wouldn't have said that was high. A lot, uh, a lot of these tackles, they come from uh, with the player carrying the ball, uh, obviously up high, they get tackled, and uh, their arm slips up off the ball, and 
to round the neck earlier. Nothing malicious, but he's picked up on it and he's given witness a penalty. Harvey Howard come on as a substitute for Kurt Sorensen, the old uh, New Zealand warhorse. But it's Moriarty taking up the running. Golden coming into the action. Witness Verdi in the play. It's on to Richiers. Some good tactics coming out, some good uh, planned moves. Three minutes before the interval, six points to two. A tight score, as you would expect. Davis coming through, a superb tackle there by Cooper. Stuart Spruce. Ten yards from the Saints line now. Sixth and final tackle. Golding gives the dummy. Yet now chips it forward. Well, Saints touch it down. And quite a bit of pressure there, Gus, but well uh, fielded by the Saints defence. Touched it down under a lot of pressure, and now a drop out again. Yeah, very good with Phil Vivers, I think. He knocked it down. It's Vivers to drop out now. Putting Witness back in possession. The Saints tackling left to hold firm. It's Myler. Offers the uh, kick. Turns it inside to Darren Wright. John Griffiths brings the tackle off. Now it's McCurry. Griffiths again, but he just gets through. He's a strong lad, this McCurry. He's lost possession. Phil Vivers brings it away. Sits with an overlap on the left now. If it can be released. Rapati down the centre. Running strong is Rapati. He's still going. He takes some pulling down this Rapati goes, doesn't he? Oh, he certainly does. He's on a high from Sunday. He knows he played well and he thought he should have got the man of the match. But it's a good team spirit out there. He'll keep going. Yes, a good play from Vivas, taking the ball across field, creating a bit of space. Far to your Rapati. He made the most of it. And Saints now moving forward, gathering yards at every uh, tackle. And now it's Kevin Ward right on the halfway line, virtually on the centre spot. Cooper again, grubbing for touch, excellent touch finder by Shane Cooper, 10 yards from the line. It's the 11th meeting between these two teams in this Lancashire Cup and... Uh, as opposed to the Challenge Cup, where uh, Witness uh, just can't do anything against Saints. They've uh, come up with uh, more wins than the Saints. One against the head there. Let's hope Saints can score before the half-time. Connolly, oh dear me. I think the idea was right, Gus. Obviously, one against the head. Gary Connolly tried the long cut-out ball to Tony Sullivan, but he just uh, couldn't take it. And there's the half-time interval. A bit early, I make it. Yeah, it looks like it's a minute early, but a good scrum there from Bernard Dwyer. He's got to be in the running for the Great Britain who can spot. Anyway, half-time here at Norsey Road, a tightly contested match, a pulsating uh, tie, six points to two in the Saints' favour. Join us shortly. Well, the Saints come out ready for the uh, second half of this uh, pulsating Lancashire Cup second uh, round tie. Obviously, before we get underway, have a couple of mentions. Uh, Ian Holt, known to his mates as Holty. He's 18 years old on the 7th of October. We give him a mention tonight from his girlfriend, uh, Trish. His mate, Andy, and all his pals in D-Stand. Happy birthday. And also, to all you rugby buffs in the Eccleston Bowling Club, uh, greetings to you all from uh, myself and uh, Gus up here. A uh, special mention to Jim Piers, father of uh, Brian Piers, who started off this uh, Saints video about 10, uh, 11 years ago. Also, a, a mention to Dennis Hartley. Yes, hello, Dennis. A mention to you, uh, an avid Saints specky. He attends all the matches, and then he relives them in the Eccleston Bowling Club on Tuesday on our uh, superb Saints video. And also a mention to Bert Rimmer, ex-player of the Saints here in the 40s. He's the doorman on the main uh, gate here at Nosey Road. He just started going in with his son and watching us on a Tuesday after he's also uh, watched the match here live. So hello to you all in Eccleston Bowling Club. Keep up the good work and uh, keep cheering the Saints on. Anyway, back for the second half now. Six points to two, Saints in the lead. 
All in the melting pot, Gus, and an exciting second half in prospect. Well, we're in for a good half this half. Hopefully, Saints will come up on top. Right, here we go again, Alan Hunt. Maybe his first touch, Gus. I don't think he's had it to him. We mentioned Hunt in the first half, did we? Well, we never. I think he went looking for work once. He went touching half back and he made a good yard. Yes, that's right, Gus. You're, you're right, I remember now. For Saints in possession. Witness tackling the Harvey Howard and SNA for Milo. Bernard Dwyer up the blind side. Deep kick for Jonathan Davis. Takes it well. He's a class player, Davis. Uh, Gus, but I don't think he's uh, going to be witness his saviour at full back. I don't know what your views are. No, I think he'd be better off at standoff. He's a very dangerous player. He can read the game fast. He's a bit, I think he's at full back for his kicking. Anyway, Devereaux coming through there, finally finished off uh, by a few Saints players, including Jared McCracken. Spruce coming through and Dwyer at him. And now it's uh, Sonny Nickel and uh, John Neal completing the tackling. Saints onside. Goulding looking for the half break there. Moriarty support there from Witness, but to Myler. He throws it back to Davis. Shane Cooper in again. Taps his ankles. Excellent work there by Captain Shane Cooper. The Witness attack is snuffed out, but it's McCurry with a deep kick. Favourable bounce. Well, it didn't go oh, unlucky there. Very unlucky there, uh, Gus. A favourable bounce, bouncing field, just caught Tony Sullivan's foot and it's going to be uh, a witness feed now. Oh, I didn't see that, I didn't think he'd give it to a witness. I think he has, has he? He hasn't? No, he's... no, he hasn't, I do beg your pardon, I stand corrected. I thought he'd touched uh, Sullivan's uh, foot. Shows you how wrong you can be. But um, we're not arguing over that one, will he? Right or wrong, say it's in possession. Kevin Ward, blockbusting forward, standing right through him. Excellent competitor. John Neal releases it to Gary Connolly, changes direction. Hill Reavers tells him right up the middle. But the reception committee's there, heavy tackling from Hume for Milo. John Griffiths. Well, a high tackle there, I feel. He's obviously keeping it down. It didn't look a lot in it, Gus, but he's always looking for that gap, is Griffiths. Exceptionally strong, and you're going to have your work cut out, are you? Get him back in. Oh, yeah, he's playing really well. He, he lost his confidence up at Barra, but he's got it back straight away. Good yardage from the Saints now. Good tackling, Moriarty and Howard. Neil right in there, he was turning to release it, and now it's with Kevin Ward. Got to follow this man. How did Harvey Howard there, he's going to, to try and scrape the ball out, but Ward stuck to it. Saints move it blindside, Bernard Dwyer, McCracken coming through, well, that's a high one. A high one from Howard there, right in front of the referee, and he says it's his shoulders, well, he's got some funny shoulders. But it's Rapati there, powering his way up. Saints putting the pedal down, Sonny Nickel brought down just about 11 yards, 11 metres short. Do you think they'll go for a drop goal here, Gus? I think Griffith's lining up for it, this is what we need. No, Phil Vivas. Charge down, the tackle counts, wave clean. Kevin Ward is powering up. An ideal platform for the Saints to build on now. Dwyer inside to Nickel, yes, he's there. Nickel's over, is he? Oh, he must be a midgy shot. Dwyer, Cooper, Griffiths along the line. George Mann. Superb defence from Witness. But it's Connolly. Connolly going away. Dumped down again by Spruce. The Witness defence brought in. Rapati onto Cooper. Chips it through. Well, there's no runners. No runners there, Gus, but uh, the idea was right from Cooper, but I don't think the message had got through to the other Saints. No, I think uh, the players never knew what they were doing. I think he saw the gap and he thought he'd get it himself. 
Let's hope we can keep him down here for six tackles. Yes, that's true. Make this tackling count. Saints putting the pressure on at the Eddington stand end, just as the witness did in the first half. But Saints penalised. An infringement at the play of the ball. Not lining up correctly is the indication. A little bit of nitpicking there. In uh, our unbiased opinion up here. As I said about witness before, we've uh, this is the 11th time we've, uh, we've played them. We've only won four, losing six in the Lancashire Cup uh, competition. The last time we won was in the first round in 82-83 season. 14 points to 12 we won at Norton Park. But it's witness uh, spreading the ball just as they've done in the first half. But uh, solid Saints tackling. It's only six points to two the score. We've had just over five minutes in the second half. And uh, at this stage, Gus, uh, well, he's lost the ball. Yes, that's a correct decision. He went to put it on the ground, Gus. He made a hash of it. And Saints are going to have the ball possession from the scrum, aren't they? I think it was a big Kev looking down his throat, that's why he knocked on. Yes. Griffiths gets the ball from the base of the scrum after it was held by uh, Shane Cooper. George Mann turns it back inside. Connolly attacked in half. Cooper, big run from Sonny Nickel. But a good tackle there from Firmino, but he gets it away to Connolly. He chips it through. Oh, he just couldn't gather it, but he does now. Just could, He tried to hack it on past Davis, but he still has scrum possession, uh, ball possession. Well, I think if he kicked it on, he would have kicked the, to the race for Jonathan Davis because he had it all. Let's hope he gets... A, a good point, sir, for Griff. Good advantage. Yes, excellent kick from uh, John Griffiths. An awkward bouncing ball for Davis to take. He took it well and Griffiths followed him up. Held him down in the in-goal area and it forces Witness to drop out from between the sticks. Put pressure on Witness, as I said, just as uh, Witness did to the Saints in the first half. But it's Fevers. Turns it inside to Alan Hunt. Flamboyant wingman Hunt. Limited touches in the first half. And Phil Vivas, he's playing uh, tonight. Obviously, he's, uh, his wife's given birth to a baby daughter this morning. Big game for him. Now with Cooper to McCracken. Bernard Dwyer was on the inside. He couldn't release it. Myler and for Milo in at the tackle, but Myler's took a knock. And it's John Neal. Silas forward, this Neal Gus. Powers his way into the defence all night. Oh, he's just, he's taking after Kevin Ward. He's looking up to Kevin and he's going to keep running all the time. Well, Saints just losing the ball a couple of times. It was knocked back, said the referee. Connolly going through. Tackling on the far side from Witness holds firm. But Saints, another five tackles now. Lofty ball to Cooper. Overlap here if they can get it going. Nickel, out to McCracken. Out to Sullivan, inside to Nickel. Sullivan on the outside, he couldn't get the return pass. Well, the ball, I don't think it was played correctly. Or whether Witness are going to be penalised well. The ball not played correctly goes according to the referee and Witness have the penalty. Very silly there, we had the advantage and we could have gone all the way from there. Well, Witness, they had a good win in the first uh, round. Of this uh, Lancashire Cup, 52 points to nine. Uh, they beat Carlisle. Saints with a good win at Barrow, 36-2. Even though, to be quite honest, um, Saints didn't uh, play as well as we know that they can play, considering Barrow had, had been beaten the week before by uh, at Nottingham. What an excellent tie this evening. 6-2 the score. And the winners of tonight's match get a home tie against Salford uh, a week tonight. Witness fine touch just outside their own 20-yard area. Harvey Howard coming in, Neil and McCracken. And this lad McCracken, Gus, we've yet to see the best of him. Obviously, he's not been here so long, but I think the tackling's been uh, firm on him. He's uh, a good, uh, strong runner. 
uh, renowned for breaking the tattle, but unfortunately they've been sticking to him. Oh yeah, I think everybody knows how dangerous he is, and he's just not had the gap. I think once he does get a good run on the gap, that'll be it till the start of February. Witness, grubber it through. Can Beavers keep it in uh, the field of play? He can. Devereaux coming to close him down. Beavers beats Devereaux. Moriarty comes in, but uh, Hume had completed the tackle. Tony Sullivan now. Takes three witness players to bring him down. Certainly the tackling has been ferocious. Very fur the majority of the time, but ferocious. George Mann, well, Saints awarded a penalty there. Shane Cooper takes it quickly. On to Griffiths. Oh, well taken by Gary Connolly. And he breaks out of, and brings it over to the left. Now going over to the right, looking for the gap. He did well there, did Connolly Gus, after an awkward ball from John Griffiths. Oh, he did. He took it well, and he ended up getting up and doing some good yards. Now it's John Neal. John Griffiths again. Witness tackling his firm. Saints looking to spread the ball, and it's this man Ward again. 11 minutes of the second half gone. Shane Cooper, change of direction onto George Mann, looking for space, gets it away to Beavers, out to Nickel. Saints looking to move it over to that right wing. Connolly and Hunt. Well, Saints want to play it, but uh, Darren Wright doing a bit of mauling. Beavers with a lofted kick, putting pressure on Davis. Oh, an excellent take, took it well and brings the ball away. Superb pullback play there, Gus. Oh, he took it well. I think Alan Hunt was just going in waiting for the points. I think he should have gone for the big hit, but he left because he is a big hitter. Yes, there's no danger, but McCurry for witness bringing it away. And, and there's a big hit off Jonathan Neal. Sullivan involved coming off the wing. And now witness trying to run it up the centre, but no way through there. Richie Ears running hard. Saints tackling machine. Ward, Dwyer, and George Mann. Paul Farber uh, limbering up on the touchline, ready to come on. And Moriarty, but play allowed to go on. The referee uh, there, he waves play on as Moriarty came through, but it's Rapati stretching for the line. In the witness 20 uh, metre area. Witness down to 12 men with Moriarty injured, but it's Beavers inside to Connolly. Saints looking to spread it. John Neal taking up the running. Witness urge back on side, moving up quickly. Now it's with Cooper. He takes it up, he's brought down centre field. 15 metres short. Sonny Nickel from acting half back. Shrugs the tacklers off, moves it over. Last tackle of this sequence. Bernard Dwyer at dummy half. Well, the ball's gone back. Ward knocks it back. Connolly chips it through. Davis tidies it up, but Connolly and McCracken bring him down. So it's putting a lot of pressure on there, Gus, but excellent defence from Witness. Very good defence, um, a good kick there to get him under pressure. But I'm saying to look the team on top in second half, but let's hope we can keep going for the full 40 minutes. Well, this is it. We've had 13 minutes of the game gone. There's only four points between the teams, six points to two. As uh, is normally said, the next uh, points could be crucial. If the Saints points, I'm sure that uh, Saints will perhaps get more on the uh, table, Gus, but uh, obviously witness will have to be held. It's looking that way. We're getting them under pressure for the last 10 minutes. Hopefully a try will come within the next couple of minutes. Golding kicks it deep downfield. Sullivan forced to turn, gathers it safely. Golding comes up, plays his uh, other teammates on side. Jonathan Neal is going to be replaced. Paul Farber ready to come on as Phil Vivas brings it up blindside. Jared McCracken there, but uh, something's gone on in that uh, tackling there on Phil Vivas. I wouldn't be surprised if it's not David Hume. Not known for his finesse in the tackle there is uh, Hume, uh, Gus, but uh, the referee, well, I don't know what's going on. I don't know myself. Um, we've got Frankie Barra on the pitch with a linesman. 
the ref stopped the clock, I think it might be about the incident with Mariota. Oh, it's, uh, the uh, witness physio had just been on uh, the field and uh, running to the touch judge, that's the problem. That's why he did come on. Obviously the game temporarily stopped. Jeanette Smith states physio has treated the touch judge. I'm sure he'll feel a lot better for that treatment, Gus, won't he? Oh, I think any linesman would love a bit of treatment from Jeanette. She's a nice girl. Anyway, Paul Farber's on, replacing Jonathan Neal. He's had a, an excellent stint of hard running, and uh, Farber won't let us down, Gus, will he? Oh, no way. He, he's had the chance to go to Halifax. He doesn't want to go, because he's a St. Helens lad. He wants to stay here and prove a point. He knows we are going to win the league. Yes, he, as you said, he's a Tatooine lad. He's St. Helens through and through. And uh, obviously a little bit aggrieved, uh, maybe, about being left out of the side. But as you said, Gus, a lot of uh, competition for places. And you've just got to buckle down and make your presence known, haven't you? Oh, every little chance you've got, you've got to go out on the field and give 100%. That's what the coach wants, and he's got the opportunity now to prove what he can do in a big match like this. And look at the talents again as we've had kicking George Mann, John Neal, and now Sonny Nickel kicking for touch. Is there no end to these players' talents, Gus? At least it goes in touch, and it's nothing, nothing's gone bad, but I think the coach will have something to say in training about our kicking. So Tony Myler, he's uh, come off, and Les Holiday, he's back on. I would imagine uh, Hume will be at the standoff position now, Gus Holiday in at the loose forward berth, and uh, that should uh, strengthen, well, uh, strengthen it a little bit more. They're all uh, strong players in the witness side. Yeah, I think the thing we'll, what we'll have to watch now is Les Holiday with his little chips over. He's renowned for it. Yeah, it's excellent, uh, astute kicker, but witness win that uh, scrum possession. tackle there, ruled by referee Connolly with Bernard Dwyer and Sonny Nickel in at the tackle on Richie Ears. the lady physio coming on again to Richie Ears. he doesn't need treatment this time the witness lazy lady physio deep kick from witness just outside, they say it's a 20 metre line. Harvey Howard running strong. The Saints defence will have to hold firm now. Nearly halfway through this second half. Saints still in the lead, six points to two. Defences have been paramount this evening. And I'm sure that they're going to be paramount for the rest of the evening. It's uh, lively little characters like uh, Bobby Golding uh, that could... Uh, create havoc in the Saints defence but it's Moriarty powering his way through had his ribs strapped early on then took uh, what looked like a, a high-ish tackle but it was waved away by the referee Hume now short ball to Holiday quickly dispatched to the earth by Dwyer and Rapati and it's the last tackle of the sequence let's see what witness have up the sleeve this time Golding running cross field. He'll have to be snuffed out. Well, he's threw it away. Saints come away with it. Connolly on to Alan Hunt. Let's see this lad go. Hunt up the touchline. Oh, just dragged into touch there. But that's the sign of a good class team there, Gus. From uh, defence straight into attack. And Alan Hunt just forced into touch on the halfway. Yeah, I think Alan will be a bit upset with himself. He knew he could have kept inside. But... Good hands from Gary Conley, he's improved from the last foul they gave. We're coming on top. It, uh, it could be, as we said, a little bit slippy uh, on the uh, the wings. A lot of the play midfield and uh, heavy uh, heavy dew on the uh, the field. It's in excellent condition. But witness have possession, Stuart Spruce wrapped up by Beavers. On to Darren Wright. Connolly wraps him up with Tira Patty. <laughs> David Hume. He's brought down just inside the Saints' half. Cooper and Connolly. Now it's Devereaux trying to scamper away. 
Strong lad, this uh, Devereaux. Just needs half a chance, but witness is spreading it. Hers slows it down, gets it away now to Darren Wright. He brings it cross field. Dwyer's homing in on him, and uh, no problem. Dwyer clamps him, man and ball. Now with the uh, Hume. Forward uh, wrestling the man to the ground. With Kevin Ward, the last tackle of this sequence now. It's Golding, chips it through. Sullivan has to chase it. Well, he makes no mistake, does Sullivan? You can't afford to take a chance, uh, especially if it is a bit slippy, Gus. You've got to make sure, and Sullivan did that, booted it dead. Yeah, well played by Anthony Sullivan. He's taking no chances with a score at only 6 2. He did well. And especially with a big uh, fellow like Devereaux, he's a class player, uh, burning down on you. Yeah, I don't think Sully would be bothered about that. Phil Beaver's now just organising his troops. Drops out from between the sticks. Taken on the far side. Hadley, I think that is, that has uh, the ball. He brings it up to within five metres of the 20 metre line. Richie Ears brings it midfield. Well, he's still going. He's finally uh, wrestled to the ground by Kevin Ward. But Witness uh, trying to build a platform up now. McCurry from acting half-back. Well, he's over, he's McCurry. <laughs> Witness uh, level the scores up. We were just saying before, Gus, about McCurry. He's a lively character. Uh, a bit reminiscent of a Gus O'Donnell try that. Might even do, uh, you know, you don't mind me saying. Well, I think I'd rather be scoring it for Saints. Um, he did well, he's seen the gap and he just went for it. Um, our double markers never worked that time. We're just going to have to get on, concentrate and get on top and not panic now. Well, a good opportunist try, as we say, and that's what it's all about. Bernard Dwyer scored one on Sunday uh, after uh, the player looked a bit lost, about 10, 15 yards out, but a good, uh, a good score there from McCurry. As you said, Gus, he saw the uh, gap, went for it, and... Uh, the Saints' defence was made to pay on that occasion. Levels the scores up at six points apiece. Looks an easy kick for Davis. Well, let's hope he's just a bit off. And uh, as you say, 20 minutes gone. Final 20 to go, and it's going to be some match, isn't it? Oh, it certainly is. That try has just made it. Everybody start again. It's got to put the pressure on us a bit, but I think we'll come up tops. Goes Jonathan Davis. 18 metres out. Just to the left of the sticks. Composes himself. A little bit of encouragement from the Saints fans, but he gets it between the uprights. Witness in the lead by eight points to six, 20 minutes to go. Saints kick it off, Devereaux fields it, on to Moriarty, Kurt Sorensen, he's come back on for uh, SNA for Milo. Devereaux from acting half-back, Farber and McCracken bring him down. Witness now, obviously they've got the tails up, in the lead by eight points to six. And this makes, uh, obviously, for the uh, exciting... Uh, Minutes of the game. Less holiday now. Cooper played out of his skin this evening. Obviously, he'll have to rally his uh, team. It's now with Golding. Oh, a superb tackle there. Just as Golding was uh, obviously trying to get the kick away, Rapati and Cooper closed him down. And now it's the kick from Davis. He gets it uh, away after uh, a bad ball. But Beavers takes it well. And Beavers drives it up. Right into Stuart Spruce. Farmer brings it blindside. Quickly, quick hands. On to Beavers. Sage looking for the runners, but just a little uh, dishevelled there. Have to get that act together. George Mann. Oh, just uh, looking to release it to Rapati on the right. The ball went to ground. Witness back in possession. Now it's Golding. Short ball there to uh, Hume. 
Gold in the general there, he's uh, prodding and pointing and shouting. And I bet he does some shouting in a game. He's the general that witness bought him for. Now it's uh, Darren Wright. Excellent tackling again, Gary Conley on the far side, Bernard Dwyer involved. I think Bernard may have just copped a stray boot there. But Sorensen back in the charge. In the fray, last tackle of this sequence. Golden chips it through. The ball goes dead. Excellently tackled there. You've got to put pressure on the little man, Gus. You've got to let him know he's boss, haven't you? Oh, certainly. If you don't let him know that you're there, he'll run riot because he can kick anywhere. Yes, he is an excellent player. As he said, he's uh, he's got a bit of a temperament problem, but uh, I'm sure once he's got that out of his system, he's only a young lad, he'll, he'll be all the better player for it. Saying he's a young lad, he's, he's won a lot of medals. He's, he's a good pro, he knows what he can do. Yes, that's true. Rapati now. We're just looking for a bit of brilliance from the Saints. A Shane Cooper weaving his way over to the right. Good ball there to Alan Hunt. He comes in field. Hunt puts the gas pedal down. Comes in the centre field. Moriarty brings him to a halt. Witness all offside, but the referee lets play go on. Good ball, Beavers. George Mann out to McCracken. Into Sullivan. He comes in field. Sullivan still going up to the 10 metre mark. Saints on the charge now. Let's see if they can put it together. McCracken going from short range. Saw the gap, went on the blind side. Saints will bring it back inside now. Quick hands. Cooper chips it through. Oh, unlucky there. Excellent uh, attack from the Saints, Gus, from their own half, right up to the witness try line. Yeah, very unlucky there from the kick from Shane Cooper. Let's hope we can keep the pressure on. We need to get a try soon. Yes, that's true. Less than 15 minutes remaining. On my watch, anyway, it's 15 minutes uh, on the uh, scoreboard clock. Still tightly contested, it's eight points to six in favour of Witness. Les Holiday, Kevin Ward clamps him round the top, Bernard Dwyer, as ever, round the legs. Hume, short ball to Moriarty. Farber in there, rather enthusiastically, in referee Connolly's uh, opinion. I tell you, this lady physio for witness, she gets to, she's on the ground uh, every tackling she goes. I think she fancies one of them herself. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, witness have the penalty. They find touch just outside the Saints 20 metre line. McCurry to play it. Harvey Howard, first man in. Sonny Nickel brings him down. Danger for the Saints here. The tackling's got to hold firm. And there's the old war horse, Sorensen, powering his way upfield. Saints must make the tackling count, they must make it fur. Can't afford to give penalties away in their own 20 metre line. Well, what's he give there? A forward pass, Gus? Yeah, I think he has given a forward pass. Well, well he's given a scrum down with a Saints feed. And he must have given off, well, it not be an offside decision, will it? I don't know what sort of a decision that. Forward pass himself. Well, it's a forward pass, uh, yes, it's the scrum down, isn't it? That's correct, yes. Just getting carried away with the uh, myself there. But Rapati, up the middle. Jane Cooper, Sonny Nickel, bringing it blind, on to Alan Hunt, looking for work. From the right wing over here on the left, obviously a bit of brilliance from Hunt, Saints leading try scorer, could uh, pay dividends tonight, but Kevin Ward, Saints know they've got to follow this man Ward. You always follow him, Gus, don't you? And you've uh, got some good uh, ball off him. Well, we can slip the ball. You've just got to time it run. It's... Go on! Gary Connolly up the wing. Gusto uh, cheering him on. But it's Connolly inside to Vivas. Support there as Griffiths comes up. But it's the Saints now in the witness. 20 metre mark. Uh, 20 metre area. Cooper. Good ball to McCracken. McCracken still going, is he held? He is. Shane Cooper wants a quick play of the ball, but the ball's gone loose. The touch judge is in. What will be the touch judge's uh, word to the referee? 
He's given a penalty to the Saints. The ball being reaped out, and maybe somebody's going in the sim bin again here. Penalty to the Saints. Shane Cooper taps it quickly, drives up to the line. He's just held short. An ideal chance for the Saints now. They've got to come away with points here. Good ball to Rapati. Out to Vivas. Connolly. Oh, dear me. Uncharacteristically, though, Connolly knocks it forward just as Saints was moving over to the right. Very unlucky, though, Gus Bus. Yeah, boys. The ball's come back to Saints. Hook back, Rapati. He's going for the line. He's held out five yards short. The Saints crowd go mad with delight now. They're urging the team on. It's Ward. He's going for the line. He's held down a yard short. The ball will have to come across the, to the left. No, it won't. Bernard Dwyer. Can he touch down? Witness have the ball. Well, obviously over the line there. Humes took a knock. Witness a restart with a tap from the 25. McCracken into the tackle, excellent tackle there. Brings him down, man and ball, and nearly rips the shirt from his back. He's in there again, he's McCracken. Excellent tackle. Stuart Spruce going across field. George Mann bangs him down. Come on, you Saints, is the cry. And George Mann's in again. Round the shoulder indicated. Holiday now. Chip and run. What we know Holiday can do. Can Alan Hunt gather it? He can. He'll have to come cross field. Hunt away. Up the middle, Alan Hunt. He's still going. Oh, he's exciting this man, isn't he? He's still going, he's Alan Hunt. Support from the Saints. Connolly. Still moving. Saints moving the ball. Connolly still going. He gets the ball away, does he? No, he has to take the tackle. Eight minutes to go, eight points to six to score. What a game. Come on, you Saints. George Mann, Paul Farber. Good tackling from Witness. What a pulsating game here. Cooper, Jared McCracken. Well, Sorensen in there, over the top. And it's going to be a penalty to the Saints. Sorensen and McCracken, well, he's, he's given another penalty away. Sorensen there on McCracken, Gus. There, Jared good strong running there. Kurt didn't like him running at him. Hopefully we got another six tackles here and get some points. Yes, Hume is going to be replaced by uh, Familo. But McCracken there, he's been spoken to by the referee. Well, the referee's there, but it's definitely a penalty. But it's gone... Uh, it's gone against the Saints this time. Surely he's got that wrong, hasn't he, Gus? I'm sure he has, because he was in a tackle and Kurt went down with his elbow. And reaped the ball away, but uh, witness have the penalty. Hume has come off for Milo back on. Witness with the ball from the penalty. For Milo coming through. He's just come back on for David Hume. You can't weigh up the referee's decision there. It's a look to clear a case, as uh, Gus said, of Sorensen coming in on uh, Jared McCracken. McCurry, Kevin Ward bounces him to the earth. Davis. For the kick downfield, but Vivas takes it well, keeps the ball in field. He does well there, Phil Vivas. An awkward ball, just caught in two minds, but he recovered well. Alan Hunt attacked in half back. Strong lad Hunt, gaining yardage, and that's what it's all about. Six minutes uh, remaining. Well, six minutes on my clock, eight minutes on the uh, scoreboard. As George Mann bursting through. Saints need a try and a goal, obviously. As they move it quickly, Griffiths into space. 
three man overlap on the left but Griffiths took the tattle now Gary Connolly gets it away to Tia Rapati Rapati tremendous upper body strength onto Bernard Dwyer he sees the gap drives forward Beavers is with him Sonny Nickel there and Saints running hard for Milo offside there as Ward brings it upfield inside to Cooper Cooper for the line he chips it through for Alan Hunt can Hunt win the chase he can, the, the tries there, is it given? Well, consultation with the touch judge. No, well, I don't know whether you can pick that out on the camera. Right in the opposite corner to us, but it must have been touched down by a witness player there, Gus. Very, very unlucky there, but excellent play by Shane Cooper and Alan Hunt. Yeah, it's seven minutes left. Let's hope we can get back down here and get a try in. Rapati stops it. It's up to Connolly now. Let's see a bit of this Saints brilliance. He's coming cross field. Looking for the overlap. He sees a gap. He drives for it. What an eye for a gap as Connolly. But Spruce closed him down. And Richie Ears, Vivas, short ball to Farber. What tackling from Widnes and what a game here. Eight points to six, the voice is still holding up. And it's Ward up the centre. Oh, look, it's strong Ward. Gets the ball away to Bernard Dwyer. He's always there, he's always releasing it. Now it's Cooper. Out to Beavers, takes it well. Comes back inside, back to Cooper. Gives the dummy. Has to take the tackle. Pulsating Gus, isn't it? Nail-biting stuff. Rapati on his way. Can he make his way through? Oh, it's very nail-biting stuff. You've rarely got a chance to talk. Cooper chips it through. Forces witness to touch down. Puts pressure on them again. I think he's had an excellent game tonight, Cooper. He's led by example. He's held his side together well and put in a lot of pressure on witness at vital times. Oh, yeah, I think the next time we get down here, I think we're going to have to pick big Kevin Ward up coming on a run. These kicks are not coming off for us, so we're going to have to find big Kevin Ward running on a good, strong run. Paul Farber up the middle now. Saints will have to hold on to this uh, ball. Make sure it's not released. Nickel, uh, Rapati. On to George Mann, he gets it away to Bernard Dwyer. Next score is definitely going to be crucial with three minutes remaining. Sonny Nickel now, shrugging the tattlers off, Nickel's on his way. Griffiths is there with him. Nickel plays it to himself, it's waved on. Moriarty quickly in. He did well there, did Sonny. We're under a lot of pressure. But Griffiths now, and the Saints, 10 yards, 10 metres from the line. Kevin Ward, good ball to Cooper. He gets it away to Rapati. Rapati is, Rapati's in. Oh, oh yes, superb drive from Rapati. from Rapati there two minutes to go on the clock I make it see it's in the lead now ten points to eight just as Gus said it was that man Ward again up the middle Shane Cooper backing up Cooper got it away to Tia and he's in a rich vein of form and there was no danger he was going to score then eh Gus oh no just give it to Kevin he can find the gap he can let the ball go he passed it to Shane Shane's played well he's kept the team going I don't think there was a man of the match tonight, but it went to Sonny Nickel, but it was a brilliant team spirit. Yes, excellent play now. And let's hope Bernard Dwyer can just slot this over. Bernard Dwyer looking for his second of the evening. Looks a good one. 
No, just waved away. Ten points to eight, Gus. Uh, 40 minutes on my watch, but uh, there must be a bit of stoppage time. There's 37 minutes on the clock, but it, according to the clock, he played short in the first half. Let's hope uh, the timekeepers get it right this half. And uh, Saints now just have to hold on. And let's, let's come again and see if we can uh, break this witness defence again. All it needs now is good six tackles and kick it down there and concentrate on our defence. No penalties, and I think we've won the game. Well, it's going to be tight now, and uh, as you say, not going to give anything away. 10-8 to score. A home tie for the winners against Salford. A week today. Cooper taken by Devereaux. As we said, he's led by example. He's had a good game tonight to Shane Cooper. George Mann. He's brought down solid witness tackling. Last uh, last tackle of this sequence. Sage, you should just grubber it for touch, should the uh, Gus? Oh, they want a big deep kick and they've six tackles here. There you are, that's from uh, Gus O'Donnell. A deep kick by Vivas. Davis takes it. And the tackling has got to be firm. Oh, they won't get through that. So the Saints players have come up. And There's the hooter! There's the final hooter! 41 minutes on my watch. Bobby Golden, first of the referee, is saying there's only 39 minutes on the clock, but the timekeepers are the sole arbiters, aren't they, Gus? Oh, well, all the sense players are they're over the moon. The referee doesn't know what to do, he's turning round everywhere. Well, the timekeepers are the sole arbiters, irrespective of what it was, it says on the uh, scoreboard. We'll not argue with that. Ten points to eight, the score. Excellent display from the Saints. Two tries from Connolly and Rapati. A goal from Bernard Dwyer. An excellent display from the Saints. Me and Gus O'Donnell here were absolutely ecstatic as the Saints go round. Beavers comes over, applauds the uh, Saints faithful. A home tie now against Salford in the semi Gus, and you could be in contention. Well, hopefully, yeah, but after tonight's performance, it's going to be hard for the coach. And the last thing I'd like to uh, congratulate Phil Beavers on his baby daughter. Yes, congratulations to Phil. Thanks for joining us. You've been with your Saints video team. My name's Ron Hoof. You've had uh, Peter Tush on uh, camera. Gus O'Donnell's joined us. I'm sure you've enjoyed uh, tonight's broadcast, especially with it being a 10 points to 8 win. We knew it was going to be a hard game, but Saints have come through it now. Next game is at Wakefield. Obviously a tough tie at Wakefield on Sunday, even though Wakefield haven't any points on the board. But 10 points to 8 tonight's score. Join us Sunday and then we'll be here at Nosey Road next Wednesday for the semi-final against Salford. Is that it?